All right, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program. That would experience that. As soon as he sees me, he starts, I keep running. <laughs> they gotta run, 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 run as fast as they can. We gonna find them. <laughs> oh, hilarious. You know what it is that they try to do again to, in order to escape accountability is to have you as a TI, a targeted person who they experiment on, who they manipulated into uh, some form of uh, uh, come to Jesus moment, as they would say, right? Again, but that is to solidify the religious indoctrination. That is to solidify religion. Okay, but when you understand the science, when you understand the psychology, when you understand the technology, right? When you understand the social apparatus, when you understand the system, right? When you understand the mindset of the elites, those that have the dark triad personality traits. And when you look and see who they put in place, right? When you look and see who they allow, to ascend and who they destroy you get to have a clear picture or a clear understanding of why certain people are put in the position that they're in now let's I've been analyzing what's been happening to slow down man slow down I don't know where they be going it's like they you know the light is red and they speeding up coming out there on the damn racetrack and I'm not about to understand that mindset you know, when I was driving, and if, when I do drive, okay, it's been a while, but when I do drive, I don't do that. You know, if I'm half a block, uh, if I'm half within the, the middle of the block and the light is red, why am I speeding up for? Slow down. And particularly in, in, at this hour, you know, you have school kids, you know, walking up and down or what have you. And these idiots, you never know what could happen. Right? You might step on that gas and your brakes might not work. Then what? Your car's going forward. Whereas if you slow down and you, if you slow down and afterwards nothing happened to your brakes, you know your car is in slow motion, right? And you can tell. So these people, like I said, they don't think because it's automatic conditioning. It's a programming that they have to they have to get there. We got to be first. I got to be first. You know they they want to be up. They want to one up each other on a daily basis in everything, right? And that's the mental illness. That's the mindset conditioning to them. That's part of it, I should say. You know. <laughs> But anyway, as I was saying, if I got distracted, uh, the, the Eric Adams situation. You know, like I said, black people, because again, we are believers, and we think that, you know, we have this, this, this foolishness in our mind that we're protected by God and this power and the blood of Jesus and all this nonsense, right? Mockery. That's how they made us. They made us into mockery because that's how they saw us. They saw us as entertainers and buffoons. So they have to, when, once they label us, then they have to create that within us. You know what I'm saying? Go, like I said, go out and read the book, uh, the, golden, the Golden Stool. Go out and read that book, The Golden Stool. And you will see where they talk about how to condition the minds of black people, of African people. That for generations and generations to come, they will not know who they are. Okay. They, are, they said that we are going to transplant into the minds of the Africans our culture. And we are going to take the best part of their culture and improve upon ourselves. While we give them the worst part of our culture to degrade their mind and the generation of Africans who have yet to be born. So you have to understand how we are being how we have been conditioned, and we know through epigenetics certain things, certain traits begin to develop in the offsprings of people who have gone through traumatic experience, right? That will dictate the learned behavior, okay, and develop certain traits, so that future generations will it will be easier to oppress them and they will accept that oppression right that's what they will do 
okay so this is what they do and this is what they engage in and this is what they've done and so they understand that within our DNA is our ancestors right they understand that in Africa you had fierce tribes as fierce warriors even in America black people enslaved Africans rebelled and they used the Bible to condition a passive mindset within them. But even after that, Jim Crow and everything, black people do what in America? They rebel, but they did it in a peaceful way. Right? They brought shame to America. Right? And it was America felt so ashamed. Why did America so, so ashamed that black people, you know, they passed the Civil Rights Act? But they never gave us freedom. All they did was design a add to the system a new way to keep us under control a new way to keep us docile a new way to continue to enslave us and to steal the wealth of black people okay and they know this and they know that every generation there are people born amongst the oppressed particularly in the black community right that are going to look at our situation and want you to think about it and as they say to the Quantum Pro memo, is to what? To identify potential black leaders and to control them. And if you can't control them, to destroy them. Right? So you, will, you we in the black community, we will never in the few, we will never see the mass amount of potential black leaders that we're supposed to have as compared to other groups. And what will happen? They will manipulate those people, those individuals, and people in the community to destroy them and to destroy themselves. You know what I'm saying? Tactical, war, tactical warfare, right? Coercive and your uh, coercive persuasion programming, right? Cognitive warfare and your cognitive warfare. And this, as I say, this is my purpose to expose it, regardless of what happened to me. They will never be able to shut me up, okay? They may kill the body. They may lock away the body, okay? They may institutionalize the body, right? But your mind goes far beyond this physical shell that we're in, right? Your essence, your, your, your what they call your soul, your car, right? It's beyond the physical. So they could do you like how they do uh, 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 a saw, okay? But guess what? It's, a, it's an energy that they can't stop. Okay, the energy is within all of us, right? What they've been able to stop is the awakened mind. And that's not within all of us, but that's with most of us. So, go, like I said, going forward, we gotta, I'm doing this with future generations. We'll look back and be like, you know what? Yeah, he's right. You know, we gotta, we, we gotta recognize the leaders in our community and we gotta protect each other and protect them. It's the only way for black people to come out of this nonsense is to realize the truth, right? And confront those that oppress us, those who are called the devils. We have to confront them, we have to unite. And as long as they can keep us disunited, and religion is a big reason why. So study religion, not in the Bible, outside the Bible, for you to understand the truth. Talk to you guys in the next video.